Do you love steak? Today, I'm gonna make a reverse seared steak on my Traeger. If you wanna learn how, keep on watching. Welcome back to our channel. We're all about quick and easy recipes, usually five ingredients or less. If you're new to this channel, uh, then you should know our recipes and the products we like are down below in the description. Let's go over the ingredients. First thing you'll need is our star of the show. This is a rib steak with bone in it. You could use a ribeye. Basically what we're gonna need for this reverse sear is any steak that's around one and a half to two inches thick. Um, and then something I just discovered uh, not too long ago is this Holy Gospel by Meat Church. I'll put a link below. This is so good and uh, a lot of recommendations on this. And then also, you can use some kind of SPG, salt, pepper, and garlic uh, to add a little additional savory flavor to it. And then at the end, we're gonna add this green butter. This is basically a herb butter. Um, this is something I made, so I'll, you could either buy one pre-made, but it's so easy to make. Later on in the video, I'll go over how to make this green butter. All right, so we're taking this Holy Gospel barbecue rub made by Meat Church. We're gonna be up high so it's gonna spread evenly. And don't be stingy with it. So we're gonna do all sides, the top, bottom, and both sides. And you can't hurt it, so don't worry about putting too much. All right, and then some people like just the uh, Holy Gospel by itself, and then other people want a little bit more flavoring to it, so they'll add this SPG. So we're gonna reverse here a steak. So what that means is we're gonna smoke the steak first and then we're at the end, we're gonna turn up the heat all the way to sear it. All right, look at these beautiful steaks. So the Traeger is warmed up, it's at 225 degrees. We're gonna put these in if we're going by time for about 45 minutes to an hour to smoke it. Um, if you go by internal temperature, which is what I'm gonna do, it should be 120 degrees. So our steaks are smoking. Now we have time to make our green butter or butter with herbs, whatever you want to call it. So here are the ingredients. First, you'll need a stick of butter. I uh, recommend getting any good European style butter. Then we'll need some limes, some parsley, some basil. Recommend going fresh if you can. Uh, I didn't have time to get any fresh ones, so I'm just using these. Get some minced garlic some black pepper, and some sea salt. So first thing we need is butter. So we got the butter, we left at room temperature for a while. And look at that, it's nice and soft. So first thing we're gonna add is the, this is half a teaspoon of salt and pepper. And the butter we're using is not salted, okay? Then we have two tablespoons of lime. So we have one tablespoon of parsley. One tablespoon of basil. And one tablespoon of minced garlic. mix it around so this is the texture and the consistency of the butter this is what it should be like once you're done mixing it all I'll put all the measurements uh, up on the screen and you could take a screenshot so here's a wireless thermometer uh, I love this thing 
It lets me do other things while I've been making this butter. Uh, I've been monitoring the temperature of the steaks on the grill. I'll put a link in below if you're interested. Our steaks have reached internal temperature of 120. So I'm going to take them off the grill. I'm going to put our Traeger all the way as high as it can at 450 degrees. I'm going to let it warm up to 450 and then we'll bring back the steaks and put them on the grill again and let it sear. So I took the steaks off the grill. This is what they should look like. All right, so the Traeger is heated up to 450 degrees. I'm going to put the steaks in about two and a half to three minutes each side. I'm looking for internal temperature to be around 130 degrees. That's just my preference. And you could kind of push them down so they get that into the grate for that searing action. All right, cooked for two and a half minutes. On this side, we're going to get them. I'm flip them over, pushing in for those grill marks. Then we're gonna put our butter on. And wait another two and a half minutes. All right, it's been another two and a half minutes. Steaks are done. I checked their temperature. They're all good. Let's get them off. Look what we got here. All right, we're gonna grab our steaks and flip them over. And steaks are still hot. They're still cooking even off the grill. We're gonna put our butter on top. And let it melt on there. Okay, we're gonna leave that for a while. And then we're gonna call Mrs. Jenny. Since this is her kitchen, we're gonna have her try these. Let us know how we did. All right, it's the taste test. I am so excited. Excited. See, I can't even talk. I'm so excited. This looks delicious. Let's cut into this steak. Oh, look at this. It's nice and juicy. guys i hope you enjoyed grilling with my husband check out more traeger videos here have a blessed day